Hi guys, I'm just having a look at the addition and subtraction curriculum and this is essentially the kinds of things that we should be able to do in terms of addition and subtraction um, for years three and beyond. Okay, so um, if you have a look at this, um, in the first one, this is the level two stage five, we use simple mental strategies to estimate answers and solve addition and subtraction problems. Now, the main strategies that you come across at stage five are the earliest um, strategies of using tidy numbers and also place value partitioning of, of double digit numbers. Now, when you move into the stage six or the early level three, we look at um, using a range of mental strategies to estimate answers and solve addition and subtraction tasks involving whole numbers. So if you think if you look at that, the the difference between level five level two, sorry, and level three is simple mental strategies and it becomes a range. So that means quite a few different strategies. So it means that you've you've got the confident ability to use a lot of different strategies, not just one one or two, but quite a few. You can see that there are some simple, similar strategies um, that come across here, but the difference is, is that you also start using the written form of addition and you're also using larger numbers and problems as well. Okay, so it's a bit more advanced. Then when you get into early stage seven or, um, or level four, um, we understand addition and subtraction of fractions decimals and integers okay so the difference between the range of mental strategies of whole numbers if we move into part whole numbers in um, stage seven and um, early stage four so that means that we need to be able to solve decimal um, problems fraction problems and um, ones that have negative values Okay, so those are things that we need, we really focus on when we start reaching level seven. And when we move into later level stage seven, you can see that it's very similar um, types of questions, but they're just a little bit more advanced. Okay, so you, instead of just doing two decimal places, you're moving on to three decimal places and more. And then for stage eight, which is only a few students at um, Christchurch Jesus will um, get to stage eight before they leave, um, we start looking at um, estimating and solving problems involving all different types of addition, subtraction, and even into multiplication and division. Um, and that's involving part whole numbers as well. And then you start looking at ratios too. Ratios is, a, is another one that we start looking at now. To use this particular sheet, all you need to be able to do is to recognize that um, where you're at, what you're currently working at. Now, if I want you to do that by indicating in yellow where you're currently working. So let's say that you're working um, at level two in your opinion. Okay, so you're going to highlight that yellow. And then as you start achieving some of these things, so let's say you're, work, you're, you're beginning to do stage six activities. So then you'll go on to the workspace and you'll go, okay, stage six activities. Um, I'm looking at stage six activities here. So compensation three digit numbers. Once you've achieved that and I've said, yep, you've done really well at that. Then you move into here and you go, oh, compensation tidy numbers and I'm gonna highlight that and I'm gonna make it green. Okay, so the yellow is what you're already doing, the green is what you are ha have achieved since you started. Okay, so that way you can show that progress. So, and you can also look back and go, look at all the progress that I'm making and look how much further I've got to go. All right, now I think this should be pretty easy for most of you to do. If you have any questions, don't forget that you can give me an email. Um, all right, good luck.